Courage Barbell, Chad Ikes, coming at you with another great exercise today. We're going to talk about the Cuban press. This is a great shoulder exercise. It's a great upper back exercise. It's a great for your external rotators, which surprisingly enough, somehow a lot of big benchers, and even I kind of felt susceptible to this at one point too, have really shitty external rotation. So this is going to help out with that a lot. It's going to help learn how to move your joints, keep that back involved in all your shoulder movements. Because remember guys, the shoulder joint is the scapula and the scapula is your upper back. So what we're going to do with the Cuban press, we're going to stand up really straight, get them shoulders back, get that head in neutral with a little bit of chin tuck. Then we're going to grab, I'm going to start with the dumbbells. Then we're going to dumbbell up so our arms are straight across, but we're not trying to pull our shoulders up into our ears. I'm actually trying to pull my shoulders down and my elbows up. Then I'm going to externally rotate, press over the top, come back down to that straight T, I guess you would say, or come down to 90-90, then rotate down, then down to the ground. Up here, here, up. So... This is not gonna be the kind of exercise you can use a whole lot of weight on. I would rather have you go with a little lighter weight, but perform the movement correctly. Lots of intent, so you're really getting a lot out of the movement. Really focus on where your body is, where your proprioception is, hitting the right positions. So I'm gonna be here, shoulders back, head in neutral. I'm gonna use those lats to help keep my shoulders down as I come up to here externally rotate press over the top the whole time i'm focusing on my back down here let them swing back under down up externally rotate top just like that now there are multiple ways you can actually do this lift so that was with the dumbbell now I'm gonna go with the barbell. So I'm gonna go a little wider about in this position. Again, standing up really straight, head in neutral, chin tucked just slightly, shoulder blades back, got those lats tight, pulling the bar up, external rotation, up to the top, back down. Just like that. <clears throat> I even like to do this one with bands. I, of course, use the Elite FTS. These are the micro minis right here. Um, you probably won't need more than minis or monster minis. And I just loop them through my feet, grab the band, and you can adjust the tension by where you grab on the band. Again, standing up straight, shoulder tucked. Get my arms so they're straight across. Come up into 90-90, press overhead, down. And you should really feel this in your shoulder little bit of your deltoids, a lot of your back, trying to hold them scap, really control where them scapula are. Don't let everything in your back just go crazy. Keep it really tight. There you go. That's it. That's the Cuban press. So remember, this is not one of those crazy heavy exercises. I know we all love to lift heavy. I love to lift heavy, but we got to do some of these, um, how can I say it nicely? <laughs> These goofy lighter weight exercises to really help pick up our bigger, our bigger lifts. This is going to help your bench tremendously. It's going to help your squat and even your deadlift being able to stabilize that upper back and hold it in the right position. So I know it sucks. It's kind of like stretching, 
But these are very, very important exercises that need to be done. So give them a try, stick with it, and I guarantee you'll see more performance in the fun heavy lifts as you go on. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Please like this channel, please subscribe to this channel, please share this channel. Please go to CourageBarbell.com, pick up some apparel to support this channel. Please check out Courage Barbell Unlimited, our new podcast on Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and more. Check out my Instagram, which is just Chad Ikes. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some more content on there. It looks like they have a subscription thing you can try now. And uh, man, that's it. I'm out of here until next time. See ya. Okay, this is going to be a little add-in clip for multiple videos. But I just shot a few videos at one time, trying to catch up and get ahead of the game a little bit. But I, I remembered or noticed that I didn't really tell you guys how I put these into my training. So this is, it's basically the same for all of these upper, upper body exercises. First of all, intent, intent, intent. None of these exercises I've showed you right now today that you won't know because it's the magic of the internet. None of them are super heavy. You're not going to be lifting a ton of weight. So intent is even more important than it always is anyway. If you perform these exercises with intent, you know what you're trying to hit. You're feeling the right muscle groups. Your proprioception is, is working better. You're opening up this, your anterior. They're going to be a huge, tremendous help. Even though it's not heavy, we got to get, we got to get past that meathead mentality that everything we lift has to be heavy. How do I put these into my program? Generally speaking, I would generally speaking, I'm going to say three to four sets of eight to 12 reps, usually near the end of a training session. So if I'm coming in heavy and I got like a max effort bench, I'm going to do my bench, do my triceps, hit my shoulders, hit my upper or hit my middle, middle low back, like a rose, heavy rows or something like that. And then like the last exercises I'm going to do is a couple of these upper back finisher exercises. And that's what I said, three to four sets, eight to 12 reps, kind of going by feel. I'm actually at the point in my career, I don't even count all that often anymore. Like I know what it should feel like. I go till I get the feeling I'm looking for and then I'm done. What, I don't care if it's eight, I don't care if it's 12. I don't care if it's 15. Uh, the other thing with these exercises is a pause or possibly even using a tempo can be very, very effective. What I, I like, to, I'm not really into the tempo thing, I'm more into the, the pause. So when I come up, say if I'm doing a chicken wing, when I come up, uh, give it a good squeeze and a second hold, then down, then up, good squeeze, second hold, down, up, good squeeze. As in that, I'll also do some of these exercises for timed. Now, I like a lot of these exercises for GPP sessions and recovery sessions as well because they're not that much stress because you're not using heavy weight, but they're very effective at working the muscle groups. So in those situations, I may do three sets of 30 or I may just do like 100 reps or I may even just do 30 reps straight through. Uh, I mix it up a lot. Um, I'll do a lot of these exercises. Usually I can figure out a way to do them with a sled as well. So I think that pretty much sums up kind of how I use them and how I throw them into my program.